Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome back to another video. I've actually been gone the last few days away from YouTube, and I guess away from home in general, because I was on vacation with my friends over the weekend, and it was fun. I'm so happy that I did it, and I'm glad I actually got a break from making YouTube videos, and of course, uh, playing video games in general. And of course, for you guys who do follow me on YouTube, you probably didn't realize that, because I did actually have videos uploaded on my channel while I was away, and so I had them scheduled to be uploaded on the, all the days I was gone, and so you guys probably didn't realize that I was away uh, from YouTube, but you probably realized that I hearted your comments, some of your comments, uh, a couple days later, and that's because I was just away from my computer and just home in general, and so either way, this video hopefully is uploaded on the 15th of November, which of course is 10 days since the launch of Call of Duty Vanguard, and I thought I might as well give kind of a one-week review type thing about how I feel about this game. Of course, this is all my opinions, and as there really isn't that much to talk about, starting with the campaign. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. I, I've actually heard nothing about the campaign. I haven't heard that the campaign's like really good. I also haven't heard if the campaign's just mediocre or if it's just really terrible. I've heard nothing about the campaign, which I guess is good because that means I don't have anything spoiled yet. So hopefully I can play the campaign soon. Uh, but I've just been really busy playing multiplayer and I have played zombies though. And yeah, it sucks. Like everything you hear about it, it's terrible. Like if you want to buy Vanguard for zombies, don't. At least not right now. Wait until at least there's some post-launch content. And the good news is, since we don't have, like, the traditional normal round-based zombies experience within the launch of Vanguard right now with Duran Thing, it looks like that's going to be the case with the DLC maps. Thank God, because it, Duran Thing is not good. It's absolutely terrible. I can go on forever about it, but I've already made a video talking about how much I didn't like zombies, and I'm just going to tell you right now that I just don't like it. So, moving on to multiplayer here, which, of course, is definitely a huge part of Vanguard, as you probably have noticed on Twitch, YouTube, and whatever like social media platforms you follow Call of Duty on. Yeah, Vanguard multiplayer is definitely a big deal. They did a really good job providing us with 16 maps at launch, two of which of course are remakes from World at War. And of course, uh, I, I know a lot of people don't like the them bringing back remakes because it was really overkill with Black Ops Cold War. Uh, however, the World at War maps they brought back, is this is the first time we've ever seen them br brought back into a future Call of Duty title. So, it, so it's pretty new to to most people to actually play on these maps, including myself in a certain way. I have played on the maps in World at War, but I didn't actually play World at War during its prime. And the rest of the 14 maps are original. They're ones we have not experienced before, and so it gives Vanguard's multiplayer a very good reputation of feeling very unique, unlike Black Ops Cold War, where we barely had any maps at launch, and we had a ton of remakes, so Black Ops Cold War itself didn't really feel unique in itself, whereas Vanguard does, and I love that. Also, if you were to compare this game to a previous Call of Duty title, the best one would probably be Modern Warfare 2019, just because they do kind of build this game off pretty much the same game engine, and uh, the, just the way that the game is kind of played in certain ways, it's very similar to Modern Warfare 2019, but they fixed a lot of the gameplay elements to actually make Vanguard much better than what we saw with Modern Warfare 2019, in my opinion, because I hate that game. I hate Modern Warfare. Absolute god-awful multiplayer. It is terrible, and a lot of the things that, that made that multiplayer terrible for me, I feel like they fixed a lot of that stuff here in Vanguard, making the experience a lot better, even though my KD says otherwise. I have like a 1.2 KD, you guys, and at this point, I'm just like, I don't even care about my KD anymore. I'm, I'm just, I, I just really want to give up on having a good KD, because I really do care about my stats in Call of Duty, uh, but man, I, I'm still having trouble doing good in this game, and um, I guess when we talk about map layouts, I'm not a huge fan, exactly, of the Vanguard maps that we have I feel like there's some like the the desert maps like Oasis and Desert Siege I don't like those maps I I honestly don't they visually look really good don't get me wrong I think they look beautiful but in terms of gameplay like I just can't perform good I don't know how I'm supposed to perform good especially on Desert Siege actually I, I get both of them mixed up but there's one of the two I feel like it's impossible to just go on a kill streak without camping because there's just so many different lines of sights and there's you could say that too about a lot of the other maps however some of them do have kind of a traditional three lane style map and uh, it's still a lot easier to kind of identify where enemies might be poking their head at to try and take you out and so that's a huge issue uh with so these maps like Demianska uh, that that if I'm pronouncing that even correctly that snow map I hate the freaking center of that map where there's that church right and you can go on the rooftop of that church or you can go into essentially the bell tower to I guess uh take people across from their spawn and 
and it's just like there's just so many different lines of sights it just makes it so hard to predict where enemies might be at and where they're looking at you from and you know you're trying to like push them and try and flank them or whatever and there, there's just so many different lines of sights that it just doesn't make the maps good and that's a huge problem that modern warfare 2019 have that had and then we see it come back here within vanguard and i don't like that um but i like i said before the game still plays better than modern warfare did uh, for example the movement it feels a lot faster it definitely feels like you can actually rush enemies it, the game doesn't seem like it promotes camping that much um but still um, i i really do think that this game uh, is a lot more fast paced and that might be because of the different combat pacing options as well uh, however, uh, you know, we do have Ninja as a perk. It's not permanently a Dead Silence field upgrade, which is still, of course, in Vanguard. Also, there is a radar perk that makes your minimap basically the classic minimap, where if someone's shooting an unsilenced weapon, they show up on, on your minimap. Uh, I, I wish that was a permanent feature. I definitely don't think they should make that a perk. So I hope moving forward with future Call of Duty titles, so whether this next one's going to be like Modern Warfare Roman Numeral 2 or whatever it's going to be, um, I really hope they just give us the classic minimap because because just adding it as the radar perk I just think is really dumb and I just don't understand why they make these certain decisions it just doesn't make any sense to me uh, but nonetheless uh, multiplayer I think does feel fine the co different combat pacing options is very unique I would rather have the different combat pacing options than the bunch of different game modes we saw within Black Ops Cold War this is something I do not like at all so for example they brought in the gunfight game mode that we saw within Modern Warfare and in Black Ops Cold War which of course required its own unique maps to play Play on and then Cold War also had the fire team dirty bomb maps which you know had its own unique maps that you were supposed to play on and so I feel like all these different game modes that Black Ops Cold War had it required like its own certain maps that just took away these core 6v6 multiplayer whereas with this game they're focused on the core 6v6 experience except the the maps you're playing on aren't necessarily always going to be 6v6 because depending on the different combat pacing options you could do 12v12 it could be 10v10 and and so there's a tactical assault and blitz pacing. And so I'd much rather have this pacing than the game modes we saw within Black Ops Cold War that required its own specific maps to be played on. That is something I did not like at all. And so with this game, I like this much better than what we saw last year. Now, if I'm going to be critical about the multiplayer, first of all, the time to kill is just too fast. And of course, it's just going to get faster if you're using a weapon that has the vital proficiency attached to it, because essentially what it does is that it takes your headshot multiplier damage and puts it to the chest as well so it makes it a lot easier to kill enemies faster and the time to kill is already fast enough by default in the game and so having that vital proficiency is a total crutch attachment to have on your gun like if you don't run it then you're gonna be putting yourself at a disadvantage essentially and not every single weapon has the vital proficiency making the game weapon balance really unbalanced essentially and so I'm sure you guys see the mp40 the stg the combat shotgun is insane insane holy crap that is probably one of the most powerful shotguns we've ever seen before in a call of duty game and i know a lot of people go back to modern warfare 2 saying how powerful those shotguns are well no one gives a shit about modern warfare 2 anymore okay the game's over it's not it's not coming back i mean they have a remastered version of the game but you really think they're going to give it to us with their sales being really good even though i guess uh, the vanguard sales actually been down 40 percent from the uk which is quite interesting uh, but nonetheless the weapon balance is terrible within vanguard and uh, that's usually to be expected with every single call of duty game weapon balance is not something that's easy to do but i think with having the games having the gunsmith being able to where you can put 10 attachments on a one weapon is insane i think it's too much and it makes the weapon balancing so much harder to control because of that and so they they really got to figure out how they're going to do that but i really don't think that should be a priority right now there's other features in the game that i think are just broken like for example the multiplayer even though there's a lot of different content we can experience within the multiplayer there's just there's just a lot of broken things there's there's just so many things that are just unpolished. For example, the weapon challenges. Like when the game first came out, though, I think they've already fixed this with a patch. My MP40, or not my MP40, my STG and M1 Garand, the headshot and elimination challenges were not counting. Like some of the camo challenges just won't count, and it was super annoying. They did change the 100 point blanks to 100 close range kills, which I think is great, but on sniper rifles, I still think that is a stupid challenge for them to even implement into the game. Uh, but, and so, yeah, there's a lot of 
the glitches in the game where challenges are just not counting same with the barrack challenges that you see uh, within the main menu those sometimes those will not count either and so there's just a lot of different types of trackings like like features in the game that just are, is not working and so I don't know what the deal is like I seriously don't know what is going on um, with this game not tracking a bunch of this stuff same with your KD I learned recently that if you get yourself a relatively high KD, I guess, in a certain match, it will not count towards your actual combat record KD or overall KD in the game. And But if you get a negative KD, that's something that looks worse than your, I guess, average KD on your combat record, then it will be applied to your combat record. So overall, your KD probably is actually worse than it actually should be. And so there's all those different types of stat tracking stuff that's just not working. And it's same with like weapon leveling and just leveling up your character and the operator XP, it just seems very inconsistent in some ways. And so I don't know what the deal is. I honest to God, I don't know what the deal is with why some of this stuff is just not really working out. And it really bothers me how this game is not polished. It's so clear this game is not polished. Like, sure, the gameplay elements and all that stuff is there. And sometimes perks don't even work, like the uh, ninja perk that you can have. Holy smokes. Why does it not work sometimes? Like, the, I just, I don't get it. I, I, there's just so many problems with the multiplayer that it, the game just feels so unpolished. And it pisses me off that video games are just been like this recently. It's not even just Call of Duty. You can say the same thing about Battlefield 2042. It seems like it has its fair share of bugs and glitches in the game. And you can say definitely say the same thing with here in Vanguard. And so I, the game just feels so unpolished. And I do enjoy playing it. It definitely feels really unique. And I it's something that I want to grind for atomic camo and that's another thing you can use atomic camo with this super easy glitch and you see everybody just running around with atomic camo and it's like wow like you know it, like the the hardest camo to earn in the game has now basically easy accessible and so i don't know what the deal is you guys either way uh, I really need this game to be polished for me to enjoy it more because as someone who likes to progress through challenges and actually complete them as quick as possible and just really just get 100% during the game, uh, you can't really do that right now in its current state and they really got to focus on updating the game to make it more polished before they actually add content when season one does actually drop later this month. So anyway, that is really it for my review, you guys. I think this game is really unique and it has definitely a good life ahead of it. I really do think it does, but there's just a lot of things they need to polish and make this game actually much better than it really is right now. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and of course subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty videos in the future. And I shall catch you guys later.